what's up guys today I'm going to tell you uh, an easy way to upload t-shirt images for Amazon merch or merch by Amazon and if you're not familiar with that what that is it's print on demand so you upload t-shirt designs to the Amazon merch platform and then when somebody buys that t-shirt you get a commission it prints at a remote site you don't handle any t-shirts any printing anything you just come up with designs uh, but there are a few rules you have to follow and maybe you're not really that artistic or you don't have access to expensive tools like Photoshop or GIMP and you're not quite sure how to use those. So I'm going to show you a very quick and easy way to upload designs using just web-based tools uh, and the results are pretty good. So check it out. Okay, so if you're anything like me, you're not like a Photoshop expert and when I downloaded GIMP, on the Macintosh or an Apple product. Uh, basically, I found that it's not too user friendly. Um, it kind of is really wonky, especially with the Big Sur update. So I found this method to be much easier. Now, of course, here's the process here, kind of going through it just so you can see what Amazon Merch is all about. You upload your image, set a list price, um, and you print. they print it for you, ship it, and then you just earn monthly royalties because you came up with the design. So um, that's what Merch by Amazon is all about, if you didn't know that. Um, but we're going to go into the easy way to upload the art to this. And first, you're going to want to go to a website like Pixabay to get your images. And the reason you want to do this is because actually copyrighted images will get you banned from Amazon Merch, so you definitely don't want to use those. But sites like Pixabay host many images that are copyright free. You can find them elsewhere, but this one has a lot of good images to use. So the first thing we're going to look for is a unicorn. And here we've got a nice looking cartoon kind of unicorn that we're going to use in this project. Uh, and there you can see it's transparent, which is even better. Um, and that's one of the nice things about Pixabay is they're transparent images. So you can download that. Um, we're not a robot, so um, we're going to download that, I guess. And then um, it'll just kind of sit down there waiting for us until we're ready to use it. Uh, but we are going to want to get one more image here. And what we're looking for is a rainbow. And so uh, the rainbow, it's down here somewhere. There's a good one. Uh, let's see here. The, okay, actually right there it is, okay. So we've got the rainbow that we wanted to use and that one's also transparent. Most of the images on here are and so that makes it really, really nice. Um, so you download that and now your images are ready to use. Um, so once that's the case, you can kind of move on to the next step where you're going to create the actual design that you're going to use on the t-shirt. Now to do this, um, you could just use Photoshop to do all that, but actually Canva is another website that you can go to and this lets you create free designs. Now, you can't get the perfect size, but 4167 by 5000 when you go to custom size down here, 4167 by 5000 is as good as you can get. So just create the design using that parameter, uh, that size basically. Um, and we'll show you how you can fix it to the right size later on when you get ready to create the image. But for now, uh, on the Canva site, you're just going to use the 4167 by 5000 size. Um, and then you'll get around that later whenever you finalize the product. But just go ahead and click Create New Design, and you'll see a white square appear there. Get rid of this little 40% thing here. And then uh, basically, you can uh, go to your images. Whoops, there we go. Uh, we got a unicorn there, and we've got uh, we got to reposition him there. And you want to position this artwork however you're going to want it to appear on the T-shirt. Now we've got our rainbow as well that we uploaded, and we're going to have to kind of play around with those and resize them so that they look good. Um, you might have to you know shrink them that way or whatever. But you can see that this is much easier. I don't know if you've used GIMP or used. Uh, Photoshop, but you've got much more control on this Canva website than you do uh, even on the website I'm going to show you in a little bit that you finalize the product on. But we're going to put those kind of in the center there and just see how that works out for us. Then we're going to go to a text, uh, add some text, and you just do that, add a heading here, and you kind of put that where you want it. Um, we're going to want something here at the top, and you can kind of see what I'm making now. Um, but Basically, we're going to type that in there for the text that we want at the top. Um, and then if you want extra text, you can kind of add another one and type in there what you want. And well, actually, first, it's easier if you move it first, honestly, because once you type, it kind of becomes harder to grab a hold of. So we're going to put that down there. And that looks OK, but there's tons of different fonts that you can use. Um, and I like this Cosmic Octo font for this fantasy football type stuff. It's kind of just a different font that you might not see. Uh, you can see 
Kubeo Wide and some other ones there that I've used in the past, but for this project, I think that cosmic uh, that cosmic text is the best. Um, but, you know, look around, find something that you like. There's so many different texts here, some that I've never even heard of. And then, of course, uh, when you do the text, you're going to want to kind of resize that, and you can make that however big or large you want that it's going to fit the product project or kind of move it around um, and put it where you need to put it. And so I think it's going to look better if it's a little bit smaller here and we move it kind of out to the center. Um, and then we're going to do the same with this text down here at the bottom. All you got to do is highlight it and click that cosmic octo. Now you see it's much bigger than the top text. So all you have to do is click up here, see that it's, you know, that it's that size and then uh, just resize it to the same size as the other one and there you go. Now it's perfectly sized for that and um, you can kind of move it back to where you want it so it's nice and centered and below the, the picture or however you like it to look on whatever you're making. Uh, but that's that. That's got your, now your image is ready. That's what your t-shirt image is going to look like so you're just going to download that and of course that's also going to just sit down here at the bottom for you and uh, be ready to use whenever you're ready to use it. So we're done on the Canvas site. We've got our design created. Now we have to go to the next website, which is Photopia. And when we go to that site, that's pretty much like an online Photoshop. Uh, but like I said, using the Canvas site to design the image first is much easier because it can be really, really complicated working with the layers and all of that whenever you're just creating a simple t-shirt design. Uh, now here's the biggest key. You want to make sure that your project is 4500 by 5400 and you want to make sure that it's transparent. So go down there and, tr and choose transparent and then create the project and there you go. Now you've got the template for the perfect size. That's the size that Amazon Merch allows you to upload for a t-shirt design. Uh, and then you can just center it and you're thinking, okay, well now it's not transparent because you pulled your image that you created on Canva on top of it there, which is what we did. We just dragged it right on top of there and then made it centered. So you want to go here uh, after you raster size. Make sure you go up to layer and raster size and then you're going to go down here to the magic wand and then you just basically click anywhere in the white and then hit the delete key. And when you do that, it's going to make the whole thing transparent. Now, you're going to want to zoom in and get in between the letters because those obviously weren't part of what you selected and you don't want those to not be transparent because those will show up as solid white in between and it just won't look right so you want to go and make sure you select all those and hit delete make sure you don't click the letter or you're gonna to have to kind of start over uh, because it won't work the way you want it to so get all the in between the letters there and run, run uh, run that down to the other one here and make sure those are out and now basically you're ready to go you've got the image the way you want it it's the right size it's the right background and you can kind of get it ready um, save it now whenever you go to save it I save it as a ping file and for some reason it gets way bigger but you can just kind of zoom back out and see that it's the right thing and once you've you've taken a look at it you've reviewed it and you realize it's right you go ahead and download that now we're going back to Amazon Merch where I'm going to sign in here real quick and I'm not going to show you that because I don't want you to see all of the other designs that I've made because then you might steal them from me. So you're going to go to select products up here, deselect everything, and then just select the basic t-shirt so that you can start with a standard t-shirt because when you start Amazon Merch, you're not going to have a lot of designs that you're allowed to upload. Drag the image right into that t-shirt and it will start to upload there. Now, of course, because black is selected and we used black font, that's not the best looking result. So we're going to select off the black and then choose colors that we like. And for this case, I think the main color that we're going to use is pink. And so that gives us a finalized fantasy football loser pink rainbow unicorn t-shirt um, that we can then uh, make our friends that finish last place in fantasy football wear. Uh, during the off season so that everyone knows that they are really bad at fantasy football and then you're just going to go down here and basically enter all the details now if you if you're out of uploads for the day you can just save it as a draft and get it ready but basically that's it hopefully this was helpful for you hopefully now you understand how to create the easy image to upload to Amazon merch uh, but in the meantime keep on flipping